ever seen Skyfall, you may notice that it has quite a different feel than most 007 films. This is because the story delves into the main character's past, making this movie's mission much more personal for the characters. This time, MI6 isn't just facing the random villain of the week who's trying to rule the world or become super rich or powerful. Skyfall's villain, Silva, is a figure from M's past who's simply just out for revenge, nothing more. Does this make Silva a fantastic and refreshing villain, but he also perfectly encompasses the movie's overarching theme that no one can escape their past. A theme that is also expressed incredibly well through cinematography aspects such as lighting, camera angles, and wardrobe. Now for just a quick refresher of the plot. In Skyfall, M is being targeted by an unknown villain through attacks on MI6, the British intelligence agency that she is in charge of. Upon hearing of these attacks, James Bond decides to come out of retirement, and by retirement, I mean that he faked his own death after being shot at the very beginning of the movie so that he could rest and relax without having to watch his back. So Bond returns to England and goes after MI6's attacker and is captured. Then, when while well, in captivity, finds out that the villain is Silva, an ex-MI6 agent. Bond then escapes and manages to capture Silva. Here is where we get to the first scene I'd like to discuss. Silva is now in MI6 custody and M is heading to interrogate him. Silva is a representation of the past, but more specifically M's past. In this scene, as you can see, Silva is wearing light cream colored clothing and is very brightly illuminated, whereas the MI6 agents are all in the shadows. M clearly stand out from everyone else in the room. And as M steps into the light to interrogate Silva, her past and Silva's reasoning for wanting revenge is literally brought into the light. On the other hand, Bond, who still hasn't confronted his past, remains in the shadows of the room and is almost unnoticeable, which, which is odd as he's the main character, but it clearly shows that he is yet not yet ready to confront his past and step into the light. This in combination with his placement in the very center of the room under a bright spotlight gives him power and draw by drawing all the attention to him and making it quite impossible to ignore him. And forcing M to confront him, aka her past. In addition to lighting in this scene, camera angles are also utilized to illustrate the film's theme. Despite being the one locked up in a cell, Silva seems to be the one with all the power in this scene because of the camera angles, which make him seem to be above the others and the agents seem helpless in his presence. In addition to the lighting in the scene, camera angles are also utilized to illustrate the film's theme. Despite being the one locked up in a cell, Silva seems to be the one with all the power in this scene due to the cameras angling upward at him, so he seems to be up above everyone else in the scene. Just like how the past is looming over the main character's heads in this movie. Furthermore, the placement of the camera makes it so that you can't see a door when looking at Silva, which gives the illusion of the agents being trapped in the room and leaving M with no other choice than to confront her past. And after this interrogation, Silva escapes, so Bond and M go on the run, but eventually realize that they can't hide forever and must have their final confrontation with Silva. So Bond takes M to the one place he knows they'll have an advantage, the orphanage where he grew up and he has not been back to since joining MI6. So, decades. way home there are various shots of the Scottish countryside and the orphanage which are both representations of Bond's past and in these shots the objects of his past seem to loom incredibly large around him and M making them seem small and almost as if there is no escape.
reach the orphanage, Bond and M prepare for a battle, Home Alone style, but with more deadly traps. When night falls, Silva comes with armed mercenaries. They attack the orphanage. Long story short, this battle ends up with the orphanage destroyed and engulfed in flames. And as Bond is fleeing, the orphanage burns bright behind him. And despite the action being in the foreground of the screen, it's possible to ignore the past burning bright behind Bond, haunting him in the background. Justice's past haunts him in this movie. And despite his efforts, he still cannot escape Silva and must face him. The final confrontation of the movie takes place in an old chapel on the property of the orphanage. Now that M and Bond have finally confronted their past, they are now in have their faces in the light. It's in stark contrast to the previous few minutes of the scene, where they were both in dark as they were in the darkness as they were trying to escape. In the final confrontation in the chapel. Bond kills Silva just as he is about to kill M. As Silva dies, he falls to his knees right in front of Bond, and now the camera angle faces up at Bond, giving Bond the power, and Silva has none as he falls and crumples to the floor. Neither Silva nor the rest of her past can haunt her anymore. Showing that the only way to truly move on and get his power back over the past, he had to deal with it. Fortunately, even though they have finally dealt with their past, it still comes at a price. M's life. M takes her last few breaths. Her face is finally in the light, showing that she has dealt with her past and is ready to move on. Just as the light now engulfing the chapel is impossible to run from quite literally for M, so is the past, once again showing that no one can run from their past forever.